Hi, this is Ben from 247Me. And today I have the unboxing of the new Redmi 6 that came out earlier in the week. I managed to get my hands on one in store uh, yesterday. And now it's time to open it up and see what we think. Now, first of all, the box, very small footprint. I actually got here, if you notice here, I got the 32 gig with a three gig of RAM version and I got this in grey. There's some more details on the back, um, but I'll talk, I'll talk us through these details later on in the video, uh, the different specs on the screen and the camera. Um, so first, let's, let's open this up. So in here we have the Redmi 6. Now, let's have a look in the space gray finish. So first of all, we have the phone. Let's have a look what else is in the box. First of all, some more paperwork, some warranty information. In the box, we also get a, it's a micro USB connection on this. So we get a micro USB cable. Get a small little power brick, and in here we also get a SIM card removal tool. So let's pop these all over here. Paperwork we don't really need. And a box. Well, let's pop that over here. Now, what you will notice straight away about this is this is slightly smaller than the Redmi 5. Now the screen size on this is a 5.45 screen and the Redmi 5 was a 5.7 inch screen so the footprint on this is smaller. Now the feel of this, let me just uh, get some of these um, stickers off. And on the back. Lots of stickers on the back. Okay. Now, the feel of this is surprisingly nice. Now this isn't a metal chassis on this, a metal back. This is actually a polycarbonate with a brush metal finish. But it does feel really nice. It does not feel slippy at all. It feels very grippy. I mean, it does have a slight plasticky feel to it, um, which you're not gonna get with a, you're not gonna get a more premium feel with a phone of this price. Straight away you will notice that there is a dual camera on the back, we'll talk about that in a little bit more, but for this price point it is very impressive to get a dual camera setup. you can notice this here. Also we have here a, a fingerprint scanner uh, built in on the back, this comes with the Redmi 6 version, you will notice that on the Redmi 6A version there is no fingerprint scanner, but it is slightly cheaper. Let's have a quick look uh, around the device, we have the volume rocker here and we have the power button uh, below the rockers. Um, and on the bottom, it looks like a microphone, um, there's a microphone hole, and we have the micro USB uh, connection here. So there is no speaker grills on the bottom, and that is what I'm assuming this is for, these be speaker grills on the back, this would be the speaker, rather than have them on the bottom. And that means if you buy a case, you don't have to watch out for this. Uh, if they have the hole built in. On the top, get another microphone uh, hole and we have the 3.5 adapter. On the side, well, we have, the, on the left-hand side, we have the SIM card tray. Now, let me just pop this open. Okay, so this is actually a dual SIM card tray. Now this can be used for two SIM cards or there is a space here to put a micro SD card in there. The interesting thing about that, even though it only has 32 gig of storage, this is expandable. Um, I need to confirm, I did read one report, it's expandable to 256 gig. Uh, I'll confirm that in the comments later on. Uh, but yeah, impressive if you can uh, expand the storage that big. Um, and there's, yeah, very good. Let me pop that back in there. Okay, so let me turn the screen on. 
and we'll see what happens. While this is turning on, let me uh, explain to you about the internals of the phone. So this is actually a 12 nanometer chip inside here, Helio, MediaTek Helio P22. Now this means that it's gonna be much more power efficient. Now a 12 nanometer process over a 28 nanometer is actually up to 48% more efficient. Um, so even though the battery is slightly smaller on this, 3000 milliamp hours, it's uh, likely to uh, not feel a difference because of the better chip inside there. Straight away, if you notice here, we're actually running, when it turns on, it says that's running MIUI 9. Now, uh, the one I tried in store was actually running uh, MIUI 10, which has the better uh, touch gestures. Here we can choose a different type of themes. So let's uh, just go with the default for now. Set up complete. So here we are, straight into the main menu. Now, first things first, what we notice is the screen. Now let's test the brightness on the screen. Now that isn't too bad, straight away if you notice here. I don't think that's too bad. I mean, it's quite bright in here with the extra lights I've got. And yeah, it doesn't, on full brightness, it feels okay. I do like the curved edges around the screen. That is a nice little touch. Uh, more phones are going that way. And it's nice to see on their base models that they're also still using this. So on here we have a 12 megapixel camera and a five megapixel camera. Now this is meant to aid in low light and also they have the portrait effect. Uh, now the camera is meant to have AI functions built in. If you take a photo of the uh, of a plant, it'll show it's a plant. If you take a photo of food, it'll show it's food. And also, uh, take a photo of people, it can put it in portrait mode. Uh, let me scroll through the functions here on the camera. So you've got short video, video, photo, portrait mode, square, panorama, and manual. All as you'd expect, but really good on this uh, budget phone. You really get a lot of the camera, a lot of camera for your money. Uh, so I'm impressed with that. Now with the front facing camera, it was meant to have face unlock. Now let's go and have a look at this. Okay, so if you notice here, if we go settings, lock screen and password, and then it also says add face data. Okay, so let's confirm our password. Now it's loading the camera. Now it says that it was done and that was very, very fast. Okay, so we'll lock it. And it was straight in. Locked and open. Wow, that is very quick. I'm very impressed at the speed of that. There is a Redmi 6A that has a two with 16 gig version. Now the interesting thing about that is it still has the expandable storage on the side. Um, and on top of that, it doesn't have the dual camera. It just has a single 12 megapixel camera. But the interesting thing is the AI software in there will still do the portrait mode. Um, so with the blurry background, it will still do that with a um, single, single lens camera. And it still has the AI uh, face unlock. It still has that feature built in, which is really good. Now as for the price, uh, I bought this yesterday uh, in the Xiaomi store. This cost me 799 Chinese yuan. Um, the slightly larger version, the 4K with 64, that is 999 when it becomes available. And the Redmi 6A, uh, that is just 599, uh, obviously with less features um, and a slightly slower processor, uh, but it's still a very good buy if you want a very budget phone. So there we have it, that is the Redmi 6. Now, if you have any questions, please let us know. We will be doing a follow-up video uh, that will assess things like the camera quality, the speaker quality, how the hardware works over time with different apps. Uh, so we'll be doing this. Any requests on what you'd like to see in this follow-up video, please let us know. Uh, as for availability on this, this uh, is currently only available in China. Uh, international release uh, hasn't been uh, announced yet, uh, but you can buy it right now on Gearbest. It's available for pre-order uh, and you can pick this up on Gearbest. Follow the link in the description um, and also check out their sale at the moment. They're having their mid-year sale. Uh, lots of good offers on all different Xiaomi products. Head over there, check it out, and see if there's anything you fancy. Thanks for watching. Like I said, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.